This is the book of Jude, verse 6. It says, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, were but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains of darkness unto the judgment of the great day. All right, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechachodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings, Shalom, to the Most High's hopeful elect. This is Brother Yagadal Amon, back with another lesson. And uh, the name of this lesson is going to be, These Bodies Won't Enter the Chariots. Okay, so that's why it started off with Jude, verse 6, all right, which I'm going to bring out one more time and we get straight into this lesson. Uh, and this kind of will be like a precept upon precept installment, all right? Uh, this is uh, Jude, verse 6 again. It says, And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. All right, and who are those angels who lost their first estate, man? All right, we are, man. Okay, all right, and what are we in? We're in these fleshly bodies, which are those chains of, uh, of darkness, and we're waiting the judgment day to be relieved, relieved of these bodies, man. All right, if we be of the most high's elect, man. Okay, yeah, and had uh, uh, guys who would talk about tattoos and, uh, uh, and different things of that nature, man. All right, man, we're not, if we be of the elect, those, these bodies are not going to make it onto the uh, chariots, man. Okay. All right. The heavenly father, all right, through Yahweh Shai, have promised to free us out of these chains of darkness, man. And that's the glory that we uh, are uh, looking forward to, man. All right. Because we know that that's how we're going to escape death and be able to live forever in the kingdom of heaven once we are uh, changed out of these bodies, man. Okay. And, um. Uh, where is it at? Okay, this is a book of Philippians chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 20. It says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who shall change our vile bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working that whereby he is even able to subdue all things unto himself or unto himself so lock him man okay so what is everything comprised of elements man okay so you have a shot uh, all right he's in the state now he has power over the elements man okay and that's what we're gonna have that's what how uh, uh when you go back to entire history how you think uh um Noah was able to call two of each animals into the ark, man, because he that was a form of spiritual power, man. Okay, and that's why in the scriptures tell you that our kids are gonna play in the mouth of serpents, man. Okay, we're gonna have dominion over everything once again, man. Once we're freed out of these bodies and in that glorious state, as Yahweh Shai is, man. All right, this is a vile, dis the despicable body, man. All right, we're susceptible to all different types of ailments, man. Fatigue. All right, well we're limited. Okay. All right, the best Jake can do is dunk a basketball right now, man. Okay, the Most High has way better things in store for uh, for us, man. Okay, and not only the elect, which will get us initially being beamed up onto the chariots, okay, uh, but the rest of the Israel, when they're born, they'll be born into this glorious state, man, okay. Uh, since I had mentioned uh, the elect being beamed up on the chariots and change, uh, this is scripture right here. All right, well, I'll actually read, read a few verses. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and starting at verse 50, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Okay, so this when, when we enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right, when it's established, man, we won't be in these fleshly bodies anymore. That'll be left to the heathen nations, man. Okay, it says, Behold... I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Okay, changed out of what? Changed out of these uh, uh, chains of darkness, man. Okay, it says in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for for the la uh, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right, in the twinkling of an eye of an eye, man. 
All right, the ones that are set for salvation, okay, initially, are going to be changed out of these bodies and beamed up onto the chariots, which the world know is UFOs, man. Okay, and this is where people look at us crazy, but we would we'll be crazy for the Lord's sake, man. Okay, all right, when you read about the uh, cloud, uh, 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 the Lord being caught up in a cloud, okay, that was talking about the chariots, man. Okay, being, being caught in, uh, caught, uh, beamed up onto the chariot, man. Okay. All right. Now it said, uh, verse fifty-three says, "For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality." Man, so how are we gonna come immortal, man? All right, by escaping these fleshly bodies and and, and giving that glorious body fashions like Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, "So this, so when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have." put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying death is swallowed up in victory and that's how death is going to be swallowed up in victory man okay in the time of this uh the second covenant being established man all right uh where it states that uh, in hebrews 8 all right that the laws will be written in our inward parts we're we, uh, be gonna become into a perfect state man okay we won't be able to go off, man. Okay, we won't be able to. We won't get sick anymore, man. We won't have ailments, man. Okay, we won't die, man. Death is going to be swallowed up in that victory of us being changed into those glorious bodies, man. Okay. Uh, verse 55, it says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the, and the strength of sin is, is the law. All right. So first of all, Yahweh Shah freed us from the law. All right. When he when he uh died on the cross, man. Okay. Not to say we don't keep the law, but we are not bound by the law. Okay. And it said the sting of death is sin, man. Okay. So we are going to be programmed to do righteously. Okay. And, and, and do everything perfect according to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. We won't uh, feel that sting of death because we won't sin anymore, man. Okay, verse uh, 57, it says, But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Okay, so we thank the Heavenly Father, man, for uh, for what he's about to bestow first to the elect of, uh, uh, of Israel. Okay, and then to the whole nation, man. All right, which has given us immortal bodies to where we'll be able to live forever, man, and live in perfection. All right, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, here on earth, man. All right, so I just wanted to keep this short and sweet uh, to the point, man. Lord willing, there was edification and the point was made. Uh, once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings. Shalom to the Most High's elect.